the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoy uh, your weekend uh, your, and last week, and I hope you have a blessed week coming up. And uh, this Sunday, we just did uh, the 23rd of July. We sat there and, and went over uh, the true mark of a Christian. But the title started off, because I ended up with two titles. And I want to show the two titles, and I want to read the scripture that we use, because the fact is we as believers need to start operating as believers and stop operating according to the world and understand that we are all accountable to God. And if you don't think that, then, then, then that's, you understand that stop calling yourself a Christian if you don't want to be accountable to God. A lot of cases we seem to be accountable to man, but we got to be accountable to God. Amen? So, this is the, this is a topic that uh, I felt I needed to address this morning, uh, but <laughs> the whole point is we need to understand the true mark of a Christian. But my title, then I go with this title. But the second title I want to show you, the scripture I'm going to go over with, uh, is "Do Christians believe we benefit from slavery?" That's a question. Do you? Because in Florida, they they want to put and say there was some benefit from being a slave. There was some benefit from being raped. There was some benefit from being uh, tortured and mutilated and hung and forced to lay, uh, to, to work in in cotton fields and 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 cake and you know other agricultural uh, things as if these people came from civilizations that didn't have those things, don't have those skills. But if, you, if you're that ignorant, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you something. The earliest and first civilization started where? In Africa. <laughs> that's not an indoctrination, that's a truth. And the fact is that those people came from, those people who were kidnapped, came from uh, cultures and civilizations that were surviving and striving as a governments and as, as people, as communities. They, they didn't come out there sitting there hanging on a, a, just in a hut or just spear, throwing a spear. These people came. And don't forget, too, if you don't know history, the Moors ruled Europe for over seven, eight hundred years. Maybe you didn't know that, but you know it now. If you're going to listen. So we got to say, no, there's no benefit from being a slave. You think so? You be one and see if you like it. So I started with that. But this is what the whole point I really wanted to get to is this right here, the mark of a true Christian. And I want to cover those scriptures. And like I said, I hope you enjoy this uh, study we're going to do. I'll break them down in segments. But the fact is that we have to go by the teaching of Christ. We need to show and bear good fruit. Fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. We need to bear good fruit. And then we need to also show the mark of a true Christian. And that's what this one is about, is showing the true marks of a Christian. And don't forget, Christ said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Obviously, if some people saying they love somebody else because they're not loving Christ, but they're not keeping his commandments. So here's the, the script I wanted to use that we're going to use by study. And those scriptures come at the end of the study. But look at what it says here. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving the hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide, on, provide things honest in the sight of all men. 
if it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore the enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, he shall heap coals of fire in his hand. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's the whole point we're saying is the mark of a Christian. And I like to read that again. Be not overcome with evil, overcome evil with good. Listen, we need to be and bear the mark of a Christian. These are the answers to the test if you want to be a Christian. You make that confession and you bear good fruit because it's time for us to shine. And I'm saying is that's not some of the stuff we're seeing in the day. It's not about shining, it's about lying. And we need to not tolerate that anymore. It's time to start making the deal with the devil and start making the deal with God through the new covenant, through Christ. Amen? And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you when I see you. And now we're getting ready to go to the next session or the concerning the study we did this week on the 23rd of July. God bless you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Uh, no, he... he. It's just... it. it... <laughs> when you have somebody that's there's video footage of the the premise of what was being talked about and then what was said by an individual mm. you play the video and the person says that wasn't me those weren't my words yeah. or you don't you don't know the whole story right and right. then, oh. because they have already have on video them doing the complete opposite. Yeah. Hey, look, don't, how about the, how about the Hollywood tape itself? People, I'm telling you, it's not positive. I'm just talking about, look at you. If you can't see how hypocrisy, if you don't understand that the world sees it, is it maybe, maybe that's, maybe, maybe that's what they don't understand. You want to play the game, but you understand people see you playing the game. Right? This this is almost like basketball, right? It's almost like, oh, he's running down the court with the ball in his hand, but don't 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 trust your line. Don't trust those lying eyes. He did not take five, six, ten steps he, <laughs> to, to, to get to the other end of the ball. People yeah. see it. People see it. So when you sit there like the Hollywood tape and then the man sit there and said, you could do anything, right? To him, to him. And then you have a civil suit where somebody actually accused the person of doing it. And the person actually won the case. You say, oh, that, that won't true. That, 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 that Matter of fact, that Tyler would take, that was not you, Look how, look, we give excuses for bad behavior when, we, when it doesn't fit our desire. And I ain't talking about my desire. I'm talking about those people who said the same thing for slavery, wasn't it? It's 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 okay because we what we did is we're gonna make you property. We know you're a human being. We we can see see look at brother. We can see that you're a human being, mm -hmm. right? There's no question about it. Right? I can see your eyes, and mouth, and ears. I can see that. I can see it to the point that uh, some of them gonna be, we're gonna rape them because they are human beings. But we're gonna sit there and say they're not human beings as if it's supposed to make it okay. That's the that's the atrocity. That's the and you're doing it today, people. You're doing it today. Matter of fact, I think it's criminal for anybody to sit there and say that, well, we want to push the uh, uh the, the 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 these criminal charges on a person, trials past the after the election so that the people can vote to confirm whether that person is convicted or to be guilty or not. So that that person can then go and pardon himself yeah. for the but, crime that he committed. But what, what is it? What is the agenda of the masses of people who are stuck on this guy? What is their connection to this person? And why is it so important that this criminal get off? Yeah. What, what, is, what is the, 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 the mindset 
Yeah. That as you lock in to, to that, what is the mindset that you're barely making ends meet, let alone cross, that you're willing to give up money for his defense? This is somebody who professes to be a billionaire. Hmm. And you're giving they're up talking money about that too. Knowing yeah. <laughs> that he's going to use it for his defense. And then they, he constantly puts in your ear that they, they're they attacking me. And they're coming after you. No, they come they're after attacking me they come after you, you when they come after me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so when you look at it in that sense, then what does he represent that makes us makes the government trying to bring his his lawlessness to an end and to make him uh, uh, responsible for what he's doing. What is it about that that connects them to him? So I got if, a connection. If the, the, the connection is there was no law uh -huh. for them to do what they did back in the day. They got there you away. Go. They got away Preach with it. atrocities in the past and Preach that it. is the connection that they Preach have found. So if Preach they it. get me, then you can't get away Come with on. the atrocities that's going on now. So if you don't understand that, then you don't understand what's going on. It's Come all on. about white supremacy, <laughs> white privilege, and it's 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 so obvious Woo. that that it's almost like they have it written on their forehead when mm. they go into these these lines of conversation because mm. you can't justify any mm. of it. There's no justification to to show how this man can do what he's doing and even the favor he's getting in this yeah. right now. Yes. Before they take him to trial, the favor. Who gets to to do the crime that he does against the United States mm. and mm. not have the United States bring everything it has to bear on the individual? I don't know anybody who can take secret documents mm. and not be arrested. Come on now. I don't Secret know document. anybody who can can threaten the United States by saying, if you arrest me, mm. 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 then this this country is going to be at war. You can that's a threat against, against yeah. the country. Exactly. That, that's, that's, that's gangster. Stand back and what about what's that one? Stand by and Stand back or something like well, that. Well, not only that, he said if, if I'm arrested. No, he said it recently. Yeah, recently. If I'm arrested, arrested, then there's going to be flat out war. And why don't you put it? Go ahead. And no, well, don't I have a following. And don't forget what you were saying. Do I like to put you better be leak that other piece again? You're expounding it even more about the fact that they're really saying, which you, you see what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. represents the fact is that in the past, atrocities that we were able to do to other people were given the wink uh the okay to do and and now you're telling us that we there's no one above the law when we were operating for 400 since the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade even the crusade where they did all the atrocities they did the people there mm -hmm. they were not held accountable for it yeah. it so, was it, go ahead now well, you that's just want to make sure people got it go ahead so mm. well, if if there is a law mm. Mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. held accountable for the law mm. and you have your peers that are your judge mm. and if you do something to someone who resembles you, I'm talking about a Caucasian person, mm -hmm. then you're held accountable, but not to an extreme. You're, you're, no. you're held to a just uh, uh, 
standard of prosecution. Yeah, yeah. But if you do something against a person of color, then your your peers say it's okay, and you may get a small fine. Yeah. You know. How about like that? Yeah. yeah. That. Yeah. So that would be the 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 judge. And I'm talking about from murder to, to anything else. Well, it's, just like Emmett Till, right? Yeah. I mean, that was a good so, example, right? So you don't you don't get prosecuted for something of that nature. Hmm. But if <laughs> if what? But I said that to say this. So once. People of color started making it so that the law has to be the law. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then everybody is starting to be punished under the law. It's still not equal, but they're mm. still being punished. Yeah, because yeah. remember, we get sentenced far yeah. worse over policing than anyone else when we're yeah. wrong to wrong, right. wrong to the courts. And, and sometimes the get maximum brings yeah. us in. Mm -hmm. So that there's just a worse sentence. You could have uh, <laughs> a Caucasian state. person do a crime, and then a person yeah. of color do the same crime. One gets probation, and one gets ten to fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, right. So that just lets you know the the judicial <laughs> judicial system right. is corrupt. So yeah, that's there. You talk so now that that is happening. Woo. Now they want to go back. We gotta go back. Everything is becoming more equal. No, we yeah. can't have that. We can't have that. And look, so we, we can go back to where every one of us can just do atrocities like yeah. at the beginning and not be held accountable. See, they that's the be like woo, the Romans. That's the what Romans you, can do anything. They yeah, were above the a law citizen. Because yeah, a citizen. Because yeah. the law really wasn't made for them. Mm. It, you it just said to that. control everybody else. So Damn it! Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So go if ahead. you can control a people with the law, woo. Then, then you can control them legally. But wow. if everybody is held accountable for the same crimes, wow. then, oh, we got to do something about these laws. Oh, now, gotta change, man. We got to change things back to where they didn't apply to us, or we got to change the law. So you we have did. somebody who is trying to change the Constitution. We have Ooh. somebody who's trying to get rid of the three branches of power. Ooh. You know, take take on more uh, uh, control of different aspects of our government mm. and put them under a dictatorship type of fashion, so that mm. if you have a dictator, then that dictates he can dictate anything that he feels that is that applies to the way he wants things to go. Hey. So it, it can be an image of a a just this system, mm. but an unjust system is an unjust system, and there's only one system that is just. Yeah, and that state in this, so they hijacked it and used it as a cloak. Yeah, but reality, because obviously you wouldn't have done what you've done. You know, when I read that scripture earlier, Romans 14, 12, so then every one of us should give an account of self to God. If they believed that, they wouldn't, most people individually would not have done or do or doing the thing they're doing today. Yeah. If you've been teaching the doctrine, right? This is the Christian doctrine. That's that's interesting because I did I never tied that in before. I'll get ready to bring it up to you. I was listening earlier, but you 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 went right into it. Yeah. Jay come their base. He basically represent the fact is that we used to get away with these things without any consequences. Yeah, and he's saying and if I can't get away with it, then, then you, you can't, can't get, get away. away. Oh man, people. Oh man, that that, is the, the, that's got to be the allure that he has to people who can't relate to him in no fashion other than the color of their skin. Wow. And so, <laughs> wow. And, 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 man, and so you get something. If, if people are being brought to bear, I mean, if, if, if people of color do things according to the law that 
they don't like, they changed the law. Mm. So look at what happened with the Black Panthers when they started mm. carrying arms. Mm -hmm. They changed. They changed the law. Yeah, yeah. They changed the law. You you can't you can't do that in public. Uh, <laughs> government areas and stuff like that. You, the law changed. But but they did it themselves on the yeah. January 6th. Yeah. So now if, if 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 people of color starts start doing what the law says, so you have here in Georgia, you can carry oh. you, can, you can carry an arm. So if every black person starts carrying weapons yeah you know we gotta stop that we gotta stop that they they will start shooting and they have they have they, 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 they make it they make it plain and simple mm -hmm. white people can do it but mm -hmm. you can't yeah. if all of a sudden every black person starts start at, at our strap with a weapon on the side visible like, I mean, I mean, you can walk in uh, to these stores mm -hmm. and these folks are, or, or even to an eating establishment mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. they're strapped with their weapon just right there next to your children. Yeah, yeah, you know, walking through a if, program in all the places. If we all do that. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm talking about, but yeah. it just can't be one and twosies. It has yeah. to be the majority uh, of people yeah. of color in that yeah. place strapped. Yeah. Then they'll start waking up. Yeah, because you ain't going. You can't bring enough police to there, and it not make the news that okay, well, there's a reason why these police officers are here, and it's because <laughs> these black people are carrying arms. God, but yeah. they're legally able to do such. Right. But if it's just a a single person in there, he gonna he gonna get shot or arrested. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I know it. That is, it's, it's just a, can I, you and my friends were talking about that when I was at my job. Uh, we were talking, eating lunch, and, and we were talking about carrying a gun. And then they said, then I said, well, you know, that may be okay for you, but I, I think some people are going to have a problem with me. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they even said, look, they said, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. They, they're going to think that you're doing something because of the color of your skin is a threat. Their mind has been conditioned. Mm. Where if we have a weapon, we're criminal. <laughs> wow. But if they have a weapon, they have the right to have it. And, and look, look, okay, it's, that goes back to the fact is that if we say you're doing something suspicious, then you're obviously doing something suspicious because yeah. that's what they, they we taught that you do you do yeah. things suspicious. Yeah, because you're, words, you're, you've been running in this neighborhood and all of a sudden I don't like it. Mm. Mm. I'm mm. going to mm. corner you and kill you. Yeah, say, yeah. We 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 thought he was robbing a home that wasn't even occupied. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Or well, even you know you when the guy sat on George Floyd, uh, Matt. You know when he you know when the thing was over, the guy just got in his car and said the guy was. I think he was on. The, he had some drugs in him or something. You know, as as part of his rationale. Yeah. That what he what just happened. Yeah. Oh man, that guy had that guy had I, I sat on his neck for, you know, like you said, so so many minutes, ten minutes, fourteen minutes, but he was on something. I, he he was on drugs or something. Yeah, what was he on to be doing that <laughs> and just staring into the camera? Seriously, <laughs> he was like he was on drugs himself. And see, <laughs> and I say that when like the the one guy who had who was surrounded by cops, I can't remember his name, but he had a knife. And he was in the middle of the street, surrounded mm -hmm. by cops. Mm -hmm. And then one cop pulls up, gets out, and just emptied his weapon on mm -hmm. that individual. Mm -hmm. When all those other cops had been there. So yeah. what what my my idea is if these people are arrested and they are are alive, I think they have they have witnessed these police officers committing a crime. Yeah. And they don't yeah. want them to testify on it because they know if, they, if I'm arrested I'm telling on everybody yeah you know uh, see saying? yeah I'm, arrested, words, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell that you was right there with me yeah when we were doing these drugs you was right yeah. there with me or you, you told me I can get away with doing this crime mm -hmm. and I have proof so these cops don't want these folks alive and there was proof that George Floyd 
did security with that cop. So he knew him. So he knew him. Yeah, yeah. And and like you said, is that so? I, I but most people never tied in. I never tied in what you just said earlier, and you everything else is just samples of it. Was when he said, if they do it, if they come after me, then they coming after you. If I can't get away with stuff, then you definitely can't get away with stuff. I'm a rich man. <clears throat> you can't get away with. If they're coming after me, which they're doing, yeah. you they're coming after you. That man, I don't know if is that that's a revelation in itself, ain't it? Hey everybody, God bless you. I I once again I still be excited about getting to the Word of God, studying the Word of God, and discussing the Word of God with other people. And this Sunday is no different than for the rest of this week. Uh, we'll send out in small segments uh, these uh, sessions so you can digest them. Uh, but I'm telling you, the the topic today, I had a bit of two topics, uh, because you got to be led by the Holy Spirit on what He wants to talk about. And, 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 and try to make sure people understand who we are, who you are. If you believe that you are a believer in Christ, if you are in Christ be Lord, because it's not just confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, but believing in your heart that God raised from the dead now to be saved. But the key to that is that you believe with your heart and you, you, you confess salvation to your mouth. But the key word I want to put in there is that you're letting him be Lord in your life. If you follow in Christ, Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So the question is, is some of the behavior that we do, are we doing that to, to please the Father, or are we doing things to please man? Do we believe we're going to only be accountable to man in this lifetime, or do we understand we'll be accountable to God? That's what I want to be able to talk about. And when, when, when I came up with the study, I had the initial topic is the mark of a true Christian. And and I felt led and also inspired because of the news of less this week where the state of Florida said then says that, you know, uh slave benefit from being slaves. And you know, good weather that that's just a slap in the face to anybody to just think that you you benefit from being a slave. Uh could I ask you a question who Anybody, anybody who was not were not slaves. Anybody who would, came to this country as free people or indentured people. But the fact is, you came to this country, and did you want to be a slave? Do you think that you would have been you it been beneficial for you to be a slave, opposed to being free? And the answer is going to always be being free. So it isn't the time that I get in I'm code. This is my opening piece I want to give and, and, and close out. I had two topics. The first one was, do Christians, and you know, because I'm a Christian, so I'm talking about as Christians, do Christians believe we benefited from slavery? And the answer should be no. And if you do believe that, then you need to go and come up on the line and tell people why you felt that you should have been a slave so you can get benefit. So instead of sitting there trying to say that somebody else benefited from rape, benefited from murder and lynching and the brutality and forced to, to not pursue happiness, but to be forced to work for somebody else forever, or at least until they died. You know, that's that's the conditions of slavery. And and something about Florida, they forgot the fact is that those people that actually uh, are anti-abortion. The, don't go to forget that some of the people in Florida or in some of the other states, I guess, as well, use baby slaves to capture alligators. I mean, they put the baby out in the, in, in the reach with the alligator and come eat, eat a child. That's, that's, that's demonic. Don't you agree? But the bottom line I put down here is that do prison believe we benefit from slavery? No. We don't think we benefited from the brutalities of slavery. And if you think so, why don't you go ahead and be a slave for yourself? You know, the bottom line is we are believers. And Christ had then said in John 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments. You know his commandments, right? John 14, 30, or 13, uh, 35, or 34. 
where it says is, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And then 35 says, and men will know you're my disciple for the love you have for one another. So uh, obviously, uh, people of slavery that became Christians, they still had the same type of brutalities and everything else really bring up this modern day time. And yet, they did it by, to, from people who profess to be Christians. Uh, now, the benefit is from, from God, not from man. And if, if I go by the man's benefit, I don't want it. Not that way, anyway. The other one I put down here is the mark of a true Christian. And, and, and as we close out, the fact is, man, um, are some people not recognizing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, they don't really are accountable to God. They don't believe they are, but everybody will. The Bible said, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall profess that Christ is Lord. Um, everybody will be go before God and give account of himself to God. You know, that's why we want to advocate Christ. So you take it for what you want, but obviously in this world, Talk about in this world, some people feel that they are not going to be held accountable. And maybe that's why they do what they do. They can't see what they're seeing or doing. Amen. So God bless you. Hope you enjoy yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put my introduction in. I may do a uh, closeout as well. But don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. And uh, I appreciate the support of listening. Man, God bless you. And I see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.